Welcome to the Wally Show precast, all the stuff that we normally would not get to during the show uh, because we were just jam-packed, filled with stuff. But that's not the case today as uh, we are doing our Way FM pledge drive. And so this is our microcast with some of the things that we would have talked about uh, but didn't do because we were doing our pledge drive. I, believe it or not, don't have any uh, birthdays today. No. Like it was birthdayless. I know. How crazy is that? It's a day off of birthdays. Wow. I'm sure there'll be 100 waiting for me when I get uh, back to my computer. Probably, and someone's angry because you didn't see there. I know. That's a fact a lot of people don't know. Actually, no one has ever been born on March 7th. Oh, that's crazy. It's one of those weird, tor- <laughs> well, like, just, it's a... Weird Today's fact. Today's yeah. birthday. Yeah, yeah. Find me a celebrity <laughs> birthday. Like I'm curious, since we don't have any uh, people uh, that have uh, needed a birthday shout out today. Brian Cranston today. No, really. Jenna Fisher from The Office. The Office. She's yeah. a delight. So don't tell me anything about people not being born today. You're gonna trust the internet over me, okay? Yes. yes. <laughs> That's your prerogative. <laughs> uh, all right. So I don't have any of that stuff. So we can uh, just dive right in here with a little bit of news. Okay, yes, I'm up first. That was a surprise. Okay. Uh, (laughs) uh, So for a long time, and this was really the whole point of the election, was uh, people talking about health care and repealing Obamacare. And so Republicans have finally come up with their plan. They're calling it the American Health Care Act. Some people are already calling it Trump Care, but uh, it does. Uh, It's uh AHA is the number, the the acronym for it. American (laughs) Health Care Act. Uh uh (laughs) (laughs) I wonder if they did that on purpose. Actually, it's uh AHA, but whatever. Uh, So a couple things that it's keeping from Obamacare, it is keeping the provision for not denying anyone with a pre-existing condition. That was always a good part of that, I Mm -hmm. thought. And it's also continuing to allow people under 26 to stay on their parents' insurance. That part, yeah, I get it. And and my daughter will probably be that kid. (laughs) And, I mean, if you think about it, too, like a a lot of my peers are finishing up their master's right now. Right. And, like, yeah, you're, you're an adult, but I could also understand being in a position where you really can't do that for yourself. Uh, some things that it is getting rid of, it is removing the individual mandate, which is the requirement that if you don't have health insurance, you have to pay a fine. I really would love to know how many people, because again, this was to go after, what, 14 million uninsured people and originally at its to inception. To go after them, yes. <laughs> yes. No, to go uh, no to go after them to give them insurance. Like yes. it, was, it was to take that part of society and say, you know, we want you to have insurance. Oh, but by the way, and everyone goes, yay! And then they go, oh, by the way, if you don't take us up on this, we're we're fining you. It was like, you will have insurance. Yeah. Get over here. Exactly. You will have insurance and you will like it. That's like a play. Be- Becca just did a radio play. Yes. And you can see this uh, on Facebook uh, there if you search Wally Show. But, but the thing it. about it was how many of those people – that, you know, that they, they were, okay, you're going to find me. I'm already below the poverty line. I can't afford insurance. You're going to find me. Big deal. And then there was a jail term as- associated with it. Like, was I don't, there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, if, I you didn't didn't pay, if you didn't pay the fine. Correct. You could uh, go to jail, which they didn't send anybody to jail. They're trying to put teeth in it. But the thing about it is it's like how many of those people actually paid the fines? And yeah. can, you, can you name anyone? Do you know anyone in your life that got Obamacare? I didn't know a single person that got it. I did. Yeah. Did I you knew, really? I knew some people. I just knew people that got hosed by it that had good plans and got real but that was more of my friend no i had some people that because i have a friend that like he works for himself and she was still in school and so um that was kind of their best option and it was it looked like more work than it was worth to be honest because they had to like prove their income on in this and like they it was expensive but then they got like this discount and that it seemed very complicated so here's what i don't understand about insurance okay i was out of work one time and i did cobra insurance once which when you're out of work you can keep your health benefits from your company but you basically have to pay all of it you pay what they paid what you paid cuz you know when you get your your health p- benefits taken out of your check the company's paying half of that too or a portion of that and then you pay a penalty on top of that. So my health insurance for a, a, a year on Cobra was eleven hundred dollars a month. It was ridiculous. And I finally was like, I can't keep doing that. So I, because I had heard all the horror stories about insurance, so I went out and got my own insurance through an insurance agent. It was like it was like a national insurance thing, and it was four hundred dollars a month. It was less than I pay through my company now. You know, than than I paid for health insurance, and and it was fine. I had zero problems with it. Like, so I don't understand where the big disconnect was in healthcare being such this messed up thing that it needed this overhaul uh, because there was insurance. And I know there's parts of it a mess for some people, for sure. I get that. But like, I don't, I didn't, ha- it was never my experience. Yes, there were frustrations with it for sure, but it was never my experience that it was this giant debacle of things, you know. But you were also coming from a family that was relatively healthy. 
Yeah, like, oh, it's yeah, a, it's yeah. a lot different when you have uh, more illnesses. issues mm-hmm. and illnesses and more mm-hmm. kids and yeah, yeah. ongoing. Things. But I don't think that I don't think that that Obamacare fixed any of that. Like I think you still have the you still have the same there's, thing. You I mean, there's definitely through. some success stories. Are there? And then there's definitely some. Uh, yeah, this totally messes over. Yeah, like I had a friend who was self-insured. Uh, he's a lawyer, and they had enough money that it wasn't a big deal. Like they just had major medical, um, and they didn't. They always denied the pregnancy like add-on, you know, because mm. they paid for it out of pocket, and it was always like ten thousand dollars. But then the Obamacare required that they add on the pregnancy thing, and that added twenty thousand dollars a year oh to their goodness. bill. Oh my yeah. goodness! Even though the you know they have like six kids, and they yeah, know they weren't having they kids always anymore. Cost ten thousand dollars, yeah. right? But. There's always like there's always ridiculous things within it. We got um, messed up a little bit more by Obamacare. Thankfully, it didn't come d- down directly to us. But uh, my husband's company, like they go above and beyond for medical care. So they were on like the Cadillac plan, which right. was like too good for Obamacare. So they were given all these fines and stuff. And thankfully, Joey's company continued to do that great really? insurance because then he got sick, and it was nice to not have to pay like like a ton ton of you money and you got reason. a cadillac yeah yes, yes. Exactly. awesome yeah. no but uh you're the reason that healthcare is so messed up that's <laughs> joey's fault <laughs> well, but like next year they were gonna have to drop it it was like this whole debacle thing but i was so thankful that they had that great plan for when he was sick because yeah. it saved us a lot of headache i am curious if anybody actually got fined i would love to know that did anybody get fined for no. not having the insurance some people on on Facebook have said that, like Josh said, he paid the fines, but they were it was cheaper than the insurance. <laughs> oh, yeah. But then again, so. but that it, it defeats the whole purpose because they mm-hmm. want to be able to have insurance. So you're not pulling off of the system, you know, and theoretically, you know, by being uninsured. And then all of a sudden you have, you know, a crisis, you're in a car wreck and it's a hundred thousand dollar bill that you're not going to pay. Somebody has to absorb that. So that was the idea behind it. Like, I get the reason for it. It just really felt like. It was forced through, and people didn't want it by and large, and then it affected people that already had insurance, which was the crazy thing. If you'd wanted to say, we're going to take these 14 million people, and we're just going to give them insurance. Okay, fine. Let, figure out how to pay for it. We're all going to pay for it eventually. You know, like in the heart of it's not a bad thing. It was the execution of it that was uh, problematic. And I, they're already saying that this repeal and replace thing is going to be problematic as well on, on, on a different front for people. Well, the thing is, no matter what, like, healthcare is just a really complicated thing, and yeah. when politicians are trying to figure it out, like, I, I think that adds more complications to it, but, like, I hope it's successful. Like, I hope that it at least moves the ball forward. So, okay, Obamacare was not the perfect plan. Let's see what this does. Okay, th- then we find out X, Y, Z doesn't work in this. Okay, let's do a new incarnation of it. Like, I don't like this whole, well, this is the liberal plan and the conservative plan, like, in fighting back and forth. Like, I, I like the idea of just progressing forward as we kind of come up with these plans. Yeah, I, so it'll, hopefully be, it'll, be it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out, what the pushback is, because I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, someone who probably wishes or we would hope that they have insurance was a woman in New York. She was taking an Uber to the hospital while in labor because that, you know, is a, a good plan. Oh, Way cheaper than an ambulance, though. So, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, until an she, Uber Lance. Yes. <laughs> they hit traffic and the Uber driver actually had to help deliver the baby. No. Oh, in his own car. Oh. And it gets worse, too. The baby was breached. Oh, no. With the cord around its neck. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah, so scary situation. Jeez. Good news is a cop was stepped in. Okay. To help out with this process, he had EMT training. Baby came out fine. What? But it's like this Ow. crazy story that started with an Uber drive. Like, oh, I gotta go pick up Stephanie. Great, and you show up, and it becomes something you did not my, ask for. Wow. My brother-in-law uh, drives Uber every now and again, yeah. and he said if someone throws up in your car, it's an automatic two hundred fifty dollars cleaning fee you get as a driver. Oh, I don't know. I'm really curious what the cleaning fee is. For <laughs> it should be two thousand. <laughs> yeah. It should. Like I've been through it. It should be a lot of money. Uh, that not not physically myself been through, but I was there. <laughs> I guess they to make all cops take a birthing class. Oh, they like, have to because you hear these stories all the time of these cops helping because they're be, first responders. Because they're first responders. I, my best friend's husband is a cop, and I cannot see him handling that. Well. Ask him. I think he would probably faint. I bet they have to go through like at least he... the mechanics of it. Of like, okay, if this is happening, yeah. you should have her lay back or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, Lord have mercy. Ugh. That's what nope. YouTube videos are for. Yeah, exactly. You can learn anything <laughs> oh my from gosh. YouTube. Did you see that video on YouTube that was that woman that delivered the baby and the husband was filming the whole time? He had to pull over on the side of the road. Yes. yes. She, was like, she was in the front seat. Yes. And she was like, it's coming, it's oh, coming. And then was... she just pulled it out. She yeah. Was like, Here it is. Here it is. Like, oh. what? No. Who are what? you? No. And she was yeah. like 24 at her fifth child or something. Oh. You're like, wow. Yeah, yeah that was crazy. So, some women, are, it's crazy, but it's also really impressive because they're like, ah, uh, okay, good job. <laughs>
All right. And then finally, the, imagine a scenario, and I think all of us have experienced it. You're working at your desk, and you're not necessarily really busy, but you're just not feeling like talking with anybody. The three of us are introverts, so we get that. And a coworker walks in, and they just start chatting you up, and you're oh, just not goodness. feeling the conversation. Yes. You're trying to give those social cues. They're not leaving. You're ignoring them. They're still talking. <laughs> Here's what you do. There's a new Chrome extension called Nope. And you have, <laughs> if you have it on your browser, you can go over to the tab and click on it, and it'll call your phone. No, they so do not. So all of a sudden you'll be like, oh, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Hello. That is fantastic. I don't know what's on that the other end awesome. of the phone call, but it's a good excuse Probably to get out of something. Probably yeah. commercials. Yes. <laughs> I need that on matter. my phone, period. Like, yeah. if I can be looking at it and push an app and it calls my phone, yeah. then I can be like, oh, sorry, get out. Yeah, I wish Get you could out. set the home button to do that. Oh my word, that's awesome! I'm I got to look that up. I got on some telemarketers to get list. away from some, some, yeah, <laughs> weird. Employees. Not naming names. Nope. <laughs> I got on uh, some telemarketers list recently, so I get so many calls a day right now. Like, oh my word! I, was I heard the you the day. other day on the phone with one of them. You yes. answered, and you're like, Stop "Yes, this is calling. Becca." And then you're like. Ronald, Ronald, I'm telling you now, you need to stop. Take me off your list. Ronald, you I don't get, want Ronald. to hear. Let me, I'm going to show Facebook Live my Friday log. Okay? Oh, that's funny. So uh, Friday, you can see, like, Nashville, Tennessee, I don't know that number, Washington, D.C., Cayman Islands, Washington, oh, nice. D.C., Joseph's my husband. Two calls from a uni- number called, not, marked United States. Like, the, just all these calls <laughs> that I don't that's recognize annoying. at all. Like, I, most of them I just ignore, but some of them I I got them for at. years from this one pharmacy, and, and it was I always had fun with it for the first year or so. Like, they would call, and I would try to sell them things. I'd try to make deals. I'd try to tell them that someone in my family just died, and you're calling me at the funeral. Like, I don't I just, have patience yeah. for that. Well, it was a sport for me. Like, I just started mm. making up things. I'm just like, I don't want a warranty on my car. Yeah. It's already <laughs> under warranty. Yeah, and then I just got it. <laughs> angry about it and then finally i don't know what happened it, it, it now i get one a month maybe whereas i was getting a few a day for a long time but i, I don't think i'm on a, can you do cell phone do not call list yeah but okay. it doesn't work like you you do the the government has the do not call registry right. that works on your cell phone you have to renew it every few years but i got an app called Haya that intercepts like it it knows numbers that are That's, scams yeah, i don't think you're pronouncing that right Hi-ya. Hi-ya. Exactly. Hi-ya. 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 <laughs> you, you said it like Hi, it. yeah. No. Hi, ya. Yeah. No. Hi, ya. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. So it, it blocks ones that it has a pretty good confidence or scans. I can see him in karate but then you class. you can add new ones to block. Hi, ya. Hi, ya. I could see Sorry. you doing that in karate yeah. class. Hi, ya. Hi, ya. I'm not going to. I'm going to break this board. Ouch. Hi, ya. You go symbol. <laughs> Sorry, you were saying. No, it just, that doesn't matter at this okay. point. I would have blocked you all y'all. Buddy. <laughs> yeah, too bad you can't block us right now. <laughs> all right, Betty Rock, least of these. Go. Make okay. it great. Uh, my first one is about Fantasia. You remember oh, her? Fantasia, Fantasia who? Idol. Fantasia who? I can't believe she beat Barino. out. There you go. I can't believe she beat out Diana DeGarmo. I voted for Diana DeGarmo. Oh, you did? Record, yes. I never mm-hmm. voted for any American Idol ever. I'm very proud I of did. that. I did. I voted for Taylor Hicks. Soap Patrol! Soap Patrol! Soap Patrol! Soap Patrol! Can't taste like this. Yeah. And he, let the, he was so awkward. He let the I, did he moving. win? Yes. Who All would've... because of me. Because I voted. Yeah, who would have ever thought that guy would have won? I even saw him in concert. That's what? how much I love oh, him. Oh, yes. my I thought he gosh. was amazing. So okay. cool. And he haven't heard anything from him since. Actually, he's got a, uh, a food show oh, no. coming out. He I was does? Thinking of, um, yes. Soul food? Travel oh, oh that... my gosh. Maybe that's what it's called. That's so cute. That would be cute. Um, okay. I thought you were talking about Justin Burrini at the Guarini. Dr. Pepe Justin Pepper commercial. Burrito. Oh, yeah. Burrito? Oh, yeah. Justin... Burrito? No. <laughs> Justin Guarini with the uh, with the little, what is it? The, the... Pepsi. No, no it's, it's Dr. Dr. Pepper. Pepper. Oh. It's a little Dr. Pepper. sweet. It's a little sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyways, okay, so Fantasia, she actually needed some Obamacare over the weekend because when she was taking a nap on her tour bus, she accidentally knocked over her aromatherapy vaporizer, and it the water, I guess, gave her second degree burns on her forearm. (gasps) So they had to take her to the emergency room. She had to cancel her tour, well, her show for that night, which was in Memphis, and they had to like scrape the skin. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. That's Tell enough. us more. No, no don't. Thank you. Keep going. You just and keep we, going, Rock. We can cut that in the precast, right? Yes. Uh, no, we're going to nah. leave it all. Okay. Don't care. 
Wow. Okay. So LeBron James, what do you think he's cried over in the past? Um, he's cried over movies, mostly his kids and his his wife. own movie, Trainwreck, because it was a train wreck. It was. Although he yeah. was the I didn't know he, he had a movie. He was one of the best parts of that movie. Actually, it was Bless Amy Schumer heart. and what's that dude's name? Nobody from cares. SNL. Um, no, they do. <laughs> you're gonna love this. He cried over The Lion King. Oh, that's my favorite Disney movie. You know what my favorite part is in that movie was the one where Timon and Pumbaa. He's like, if you're looking for a uh, a, oh, yeah, yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are you aching? Yep, yep, mm. yep. For some bacon. I don't know. The, I don't know. Have a memory. I'm sorry. I'm not part. you. He also uh, cried over an episode of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> yeah, when Uncle Phil gets re like when um uh Will Smith's dad comes back into the picture but leaves you him again. You already know this. Yes. I read the article. Oh, oh really? I read so every article that has the word LeBron, LeBron. James. He yeah, woke up this morning and he like is like laying on his phone and he gets an alert and it's like LeBron James. There's a oh, story I, about him and he's like, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Literally true. Yes. Yeah. So uh, he got choked up in an ep episode of The and Fresh Prince. And you're going to be ashamed because of you're laughing. The reason that made him choke up was because he's never actually met his dad. Uh -huh. And so it really rang true for him. Oh, wow. So it'd be yeah. hard for him to reenact the Lion King then. No, that was about the Oh, that's Prince. right. The monkey held him up. I was thinking it was his dad that held him up. It was We're talking monkey. about The Fresh Prince. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Not the, okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. Why did we try? Can we get back to how, uh, like how great LeBron is? No. No. We're done. Okay. Hiya. It was fun. <laughs> nope. Chrome. Can we get back to how great it is that I've not is fallen off your my chrome. stool yet? Get your chrome. You know, my, my stool, the uh, nope. seat is not attached. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so all precasts have to sit very gingerly. <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> anyway. But why do you cross your legs like that? <laughs> Balance. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> Tightrope walkers do that. Okay. <laughs> that's training. All right. So that's going to have to do it for the old uh, precast today or whatever this was, the microcast. I just realized I was rewatching the first live video. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> and uh, Man, that this is, is going to really be delayed. Oh, we're tired. I'm so tired. Pledge drive wears me out, and can it's I, late. Can we answer a couple of Facebook questions sure, real quick? Sure, we can do uh, yes. Someone asked what these buttons are in front of all of uh, Becca, Everybody Betty, and the I. Everybody in the studio. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you like to explain it, uh, Becca? Someone yes. explain it to Betty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the mic controls. So Wally controls the board on the other side, but say I had to cough, I could turn my mic like that. Hey, whoa. What? What? What happened? Exactly. So you don't know. Uh, there's technically a mute button. Oh, it, wow. it does it work. I use it all the time. Work in the studio. Uh, I don't know what talk back does. In theory, we should be able to talk right into Wally's headphones, yes. and we'll be able to hear it on here. <gasps> yeah. No. Wait. Wait. Oh my gosh, I can. Does it really? Oh. Does it really? That's weird. And, oh yeah, don't. But are you? Be, are, is that feeding the thing? No, yeah, I don't okay. think they. Yeah, heard that. no, I can hear you. No, don't it's do that. Secret code. And then there's a volume knob, so I can turn myself up or down. Or if I, I could click this How? and change the profile. And she turned everything off somehow. Everything me? is off now for a second. Well, no, she just in your headphones. Oh, stop touching that. That is going to drive me crazy. That is going to All drive me All of a sudden, you can't hear yourself in the headphones. Absolutely anymore. crazy. And you know my favorite thing to do in life is to hear myself. We have to try this in the main studio. <laughs> I'm going to go literally cut all the wires underneath the board there and make that uh, go away. Oh, gee, I got to disable that. So, yeah, they're how we cough because I'm coughing a lot right now. Yes. Um, right now. Yeah. yeah, all the all time. Zach has the black lung pop. Yeah. Like black lung. I got the black lung pop. Is there another question? No, that was the main one I wanted to get to. Oh, well, that oh was someone said um, during telemarketer calls, Andrea said that uh, her kids do radio DJ impersonations to telemarketers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And so they you impersonate like, you. This is the Wally Show. Yes, that's yes. what they do. Fantastic. I don't want to buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we're in the studio because, yeah, pledge drive is going on in the main studio, and Wally is bouncing because... He always I is. always do. Yeah. yeah. He's got issues. I, uh, my, I can never stand still. This has been since I was a kid. I, I used to drive my mom crazy. I was always moving my legs or banging on something, drumming, whatever. And so, yeah, that's just my thing. Philip wanted to remind you that Cleveland lost the World Series. Why? Cleveland was in the World Series. Who's your team? Oh, they weren't also, in there. Also, uh, uh, someone wanted to remind you that you pulled a Becca by accidentally deleting the uh, the video. Oh, the precast. No, go back you and watch the precast. It. My, hand, it my hands weren't even on the phone when it, it stopped. He didn't do a good enough <laughs> no, job. There, I have visual. <laughs> as a man. I have visual proof. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right, let's uh, end this thing so that we can uh, get on with the rest of our day, and so can you. Did you get on with our day? Stop doing Wait, that, man. <laughs> That literally is going to drive me crazy uh, during the show. Not a long trip. Yeah, we're not <laughs> going to do that. All right, that's going to do it. And as always, thanks for being a potty.